Tuesday night, but over two performances in qualifying. Craig Levine has uh, stated the way that he's going to play. He's going to be he's going to be tough to beat in terms of the he went out to Lithuania uh, and made us tough to beat out there. Um, I'm sure the home game it was a relief that, that we came through it. Um, they were going to set up four five one, be hard to break down, um, and it meant we had to shift the ball quickly. Uh, and our full backs were going to be important. Unfortunately, the first half it didn't quite work. He took McFadden off at half time. Um, changed things slightly and then obviously the goal right after half time really put us into panic stations. Here it is Malky, like you say Hamden was already frustrated at this point, they didn't expect it to get even worse. No that's right and we, we, we were quite deep uh, as you see here, um, you know the ball starts on the other 18 yard line and, and we end up backing off onto the 18 yard line quite quickly. Um, I mean the guy, the guy puts a smash and finish in but Stephen McManus will probably be a little bit disappointed that he's not a little bit closer than that. Um, to actually stop the shot. Is that being kind, Malky? Does he need to stop that at all costs? Yeah, well, you're inside the box. If you've got a player inside the box facing you, you've really got to uh, try and block that. I mean, uh, the McGregor and goals is no chance with that. But um, so from that moment onwards, for the next 15 minutes, uh, it was a very tense atmosphere. You could, you could certainly, you could hear it, you know, on the on the, the television in terms of the atmosphere and the ground. And we didn't look as if we were going to flow after that for at least 10, 15 minutes. Craig saw that, um, immediately changed things, um, put Barry Robson on. Um, put James Morrison on which was the, the biggest impact because Morrison then really comes into the game and, and starts everything that, that Scotland did after that between himself and Dan Fletcher they kind of pushed and drove Scotland forward after that Before it got better though it did actually get worse mm -hmm. with that injury to Lee Wallace and we're hearing from Hart that um, sadly his season looks to be over yeah, I mean, it was reckless, a real reckless challenge. And, um, you know, he's in full flight. And, you know, at the end of the day, as you say, that's it's something that's going to keep him out possibly for the season. Yeah, dreadful. tear to his cruciate ligament. Marcus, yeah, I mean, so that doesn't look good. No, dreadful for the player himself. And, um, you know, he's in full flow there. And youngster coming into the Scottish squad, nailing himself down there at left back. And it's disappointing. It was desperation time. Uh, Kenny Miller was really feeling the wrath of the fans. <clears throat> this is interesting, Malky, because we know what happens at the end of this little run. He scores a goal but just listen to the fans on this when he actually gives the ball away not just once but twice yeah um, it's, it's unfortunate and, and you know that's one of the few occasions in the evening where the, the Scotland fans did vent their frustration because to be fair right to the 97th minute they were they were real behind the team but um, as strikers will tell you you know one minute they're, they're miss kicking something the next minute it's in the top corner and they're a hero um, they get the ball in here Barry Robson again does great on the, the left hand side not a great header, but I tell you what, on his left foot, it's a, it's a great finish on target from there. It's a wonderful goal, isn't it? Has his game improved? It has over the years. I think he's, I mean, he's always had energy and he's always managed to score goals, but I think Kenny's now becoming more of an all-round player and a link player as well. Um, and with age has come in confidence as well. Um, he's scoring goals for Rangers, he's scored a great few goals in the last couple of weeks. And... Um, you know, uh, that is a, a very important goal for Scotland that he's just scored there. So maybe it was, um, well, an even more important goal scored by Stephen McManus. Payback time, perhaps, then, for him? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, Stephen had been attacking the ball well all night, and, you know, this is a fantastic header, whether it's in the first or the last minute. This is a great header, and, and you know, as a centre back, next centre back, to see one going up there. And, you know, he said it at the end himself to score the winner for Scotland in the last minute of a game um, is something that he's dreamed of all his career, and I'm, I'm delighted for him. It was a fantastic header. Steve, I want to bring you in on this. Um, you have very recent experience of international management. I'm not suggesting that, um, <laughs> that you know exactly what Craig Levine was living in that game on the sidelines, but you'll have a pretty good idea. I think so. We had similar uh, similar feeling out in San Marino. And, uh, you know, we dominated the game. Plenty of chances. Dominated possession. Crosses going in the box. They'll keep on making saves. We go 1-0 up and you're just waiting for the second, but midway through the second half, unfortunately, centre-half and goalkeeper run into each other and uh, they scored a goal. And but then you scored a goal in the last minute, Well, that's just it. as they did. Yeah, it's What's it. he feeling now? Well, it's relief. It's, it's just a great feeling. It's a, it's a massive three points. And it can, it